Italy's new prime minister, designate Mario Monti, says he has a sense of urgency about forming an emergency government. Meanwhile, ex-Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi may or may not be taking up gardening, according to some reports. For some insight into the mind of Berlusconi and the current state of Italian politics, CNN's Zane Vergi spoke with his former personal aide and member of parliament, Deborah Bergamini. Have you been in touch with Silvio Berlusconi recently? And, and is he or is he not taking up gardening? Yes, I have been in touch. Actually, I had him on the phone also a few hours ago. For the time being, he's waiting to see what is happening in the building up of the new government under Mr. Monti. Uh, certainly, he said he wants to continue acting as the chair of the PDL, of the Popolo della Libertà. Did he express whether he had any regrets at all and, and, and has bears responsibility for creating part of this mess? Well, I, I wouldn't use the, the word mess. Certainly, Italy is under speculative attack, but I would add that the whole euro uh, area is under speculation, under speculative attack, and that's the main point. Now, the debate today is seeing whether the role of the European Central Bank is the correct one uh, view the situa in view of the situation. Uh, what Mr. Berlusconi has said yesterday also is that Presumably, the European Central Bank should have a further role rather than having uh, just to keep inflation under control, something a little bit similar to what is the mandate of the Federal Reserve. So now this is an important point of the debate. Certainly what I can say is that the act of Mr. Berlusconi about his resigning is an act of great generosity. I must uh, remind that uh, the PDL, the center-right coalition, still has absolute majority in the Senate and still has a majority in the lower house. Uh, there yes. has never been a known confidence vote towards Mr. Berlusconi. Does he have regrets? Uh, regrets are difficult in such a personality as Mr. Berlusconi. Uh, I think that he is understanding that uh, he is paying uh, uh, all his efforts to defend sovereignty of the Italian country uh, and to defend uh, politics and popular democracy as much as he can. Now, what we are seeing today is that probably markets uh, don't like so much politics being so effective and so active in financial matters. So uh, my okay. feeling is that the challenge today will be that of rebalancing politics and financial markets. Okay. And real quickly, are Italy's problems overall just too big for a change in any government to make a quick difference? Well, uh, I think that Italy's problems are as big as in the other European countries. Uh, uh, let's see what happens uh, with the government by Mario Monti. It may be that the strong opposition between pro and, uh, and against Berlusconi that has been going on in these years, maybe will disperse itself, maybe will finish, and then we will have a more cooperative approach on the part of all the political forces. I hope so. Although the first um, sentiments that I'm seeing are not very much into this direction, but let's hope that the credibility and the international credibility of Mr. Monti will be able right. to, to work in this direction. Thank you so much, Silvio Berlusconi's former personal aide and Italian member of parliament, Deborah Bergamini, who did a great job talking all over all those sirens there in Rome. Thank you.